Yeah. Yeah. Pray for me. Madura. Pray I find my way. Cody by me. Hey fam, welcome back. Hope you're doing fantastic. Even if you're my channel, hi. My name is Esther Kim Sapak J. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a foundation test on the new, not so new anymore. Actually, it's about a month old right now. I'm talking about the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Glow Foundation. I honestly didn't want to do a foundation test on this foundation whatsoever because I made a decision recently to only do a foundation test review and whatnot on foundations that has a wide extensive shade range okay so i just thought okay just sit down and do this one especially because most people are quite interested in a review on this foundation so if you're interested in seeing a foundation test on this foundation this is where i give you based my first impression on the application the appearance of the foundation itself my rate and recommendation and sometimes i also do a wear test as well actually most of the time i don't know if i'll be doing wear test today because it's already kind of 5 p.m and i'm already pissed off about the shade range of this foundation but we'll see how we go so if you like foundation test videos make sure you check the link down below to see the full playlist to my foundation test series okay and if you yet to subscribe make sure you subscribe right now by clicking the subscribe button down below once you're done subscribing make sure the notification is turned on so that we don't miss out an instagram video from me and if you do like this video please do make sure you give it a thumbs up okay let's get straight to it i did not buy the foundation itself i had to go to sephora and i picked up samples of two shades this foundation comes in 12 shades it looks like it retails for 29 us dollars 49 australian dollars and here in australia they also sell you like a mini bottle which is for about 17 australian dollars i don't know if that's the case in the us for you babes i think it's also 29 uk pounds as well so they're saying it's lightweight it will blur your imperfections even at your skin tone it will give you a natural matte finish and it's a light to medium coverage and it's supposed to look like skin like your skin but better type of situation the two shades that i picked up are the shade 9 and the shade 10 i am going to try not to be furious in this video but the main thing that kind of pissed me off when i went into sephora was noticing that the bottles of the foundations are quite darker than the shades in the foundation itself i mean i wouldn't have any issues with it if they use the universal color for all the bottles for all the shades and whatnot but that's not the case here it's, it's just it's it's false marketing i hate it when they do that if you're gonna make a bottle of different shades be a particular color make sure the shade in the bottle matches even at least 98 percent of the shade that's inside that bottle and this also goes for the lighter shades as well so i did pick up the shade 9 and 10 and i swatched the shade 11 and 12 i didn't kind of want to overdo it by asking for four shade samples i just always kind of feel weird when it comes to that the shade 12 looks kind of lighter than the shade 11 and the shade 11 looks kind of deeper than the shade 12 but then the shade 12 is not even as deep like it's not gonna like work for people like oh my bonsu nima tang too much mouth even i don't think and now here's the shade nine you can see it runs golden you can see the foundation itself is also very runny as well and here is the shade 10 which also runs golden so this is what 10 looks like this is a shade nine like they're very close which i do appreciate if only they were consistent with this and just continue to go on and just so you know i already have primer on my face which i applied about an hour ago before i started filming the video about my eyes and whatnot and the primer that i have is the remote fix and perfect primer and i also have the nyx pore filler you see they don't look all that different you see what i'm saying and this is my ColourPop deep dark 185 I feel like i'm repeating myself wow okay let's just use 10 I'm gonna blend this side with a beauty sponge. This is the Real Technic face and body sponge. Whoa, it's kind of dried down already. Whoa, that is dried down. That is interesting. So I'm just gonna use the brush to apply it on this side. Okay, the side that I just used with a brush looks to be a little bit more illuminating than the side that I applied with, a, with the face and body sponge. Do you see that? Do you see that this side looks a little bit illuminating than this one? This side looks more matte and this side looks more illuminating. That is interesting. <laughs> you would think it's the other way around because I literally use the brush for this side. But I like the look of this side. This side I just look, I look tired. I don't know. <laughs> Let me just try and build it up a little bit more and see if we're going to get anything. So it was light before. So let's see if we will get to a medium. It's easy to blend, which I like. It's not patchy, which is good. Wow, I still can't match the luminosity of this side. All right, so here we go. This is the foundation applied. And as you can see, we kind of have a, a little bit of a glow all around. More so on this side than this side. That's why I still layering like this side to kind of match this side a bit. So more on a medium coverage. It 
feels earlier when I applied the first layer, it felt matte, but then after layering it on, now it kind of feels kind of wetish, like satin matte. Wow, my finger mark is not showing, which is good. I mean, I wish it could do stuff for my textures, but it doesn't. It feels lightweight. Oh, my finger mark is showing on my forehead right there. It does transfer, but it's not a liquidy transfer. It's more than a powdery transfer. Um, Because of my skin type, this side especially is making me feel like I need to set the, the foundation. So I'm just gonna apply concealer because um, I need, you know, I need to just get myself together. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 10. Okay, this is gonna take too long. So I'm gonna set it with the Benai Banana Powder. I'm also gonna contour my nose and I'm just gonna use a bronzer, which is the Cover Girl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer to kind of bronze up my face and whatnot. Do my lower lash lapai lipstick and I'll be right back. All right, here we are. The rest of my products have been applied. I did not set the foundation itself with a powder i mainly went under my eye with the concealer and the powder and whatnot and i apply blush and a highlighter and um bronzer right here and here as well but one thing i noticed after applying the concealer and setting it with a powder is the fact that this foundation does not seem to play well with others as you can see like it's quite patching the perimeter of the area where i applied the concealer and powder and whatnot it's, it's just weird it's like a chunk lifted off of here and it's not because of the concealer or the powder because i've used that so many times literally and i love it it doesn't do that on its own i think it's the foundation itself like it wouldn't really like lay down properly on top of it and here as well like it's you see i don't know that's kind of weird my face it, it literally feels like i've already said it with a powder and it, tra it transfers like i've already said it with a powder because it has a powdery transfer this side still feels a little bit more wet it's just like how it looks a little bit more radiant than this side does which is quite weird yeah i mean around my nose is fine which is good i don't know it just look it, my skin kind of looks a little bit weird mm, i don't know almost kind of cakey but not really is it is it cakey look at that patch right there so i think i can do a few hours of wear i'm gonna go out and then do some grocery shopping and whatnot so i'll come back and show you guys what my face is looking like later on okay right now it is 5 35 literally 5 35 p.m at the minute okay so i'll see you soon okay babes i am back the time right now is 11 p.m 11.01 to be exact so it's been five and a half hours later and this is what my face is looking like my sister is here by the way so if you hear any chirping in the background it's her she's a little bird <laughs> don't know me i was just asking how my face looked like she was like oh it looks smooth it looks good and i was like wait a minute can't you see what i'm seeing she's definitely a little bit clouded at the moment so as you guys can see and before i left earlier <laughs> Before I left earlier, if you remember that, that I mentioned the fact that it's a little bit, that the foundation is a little bit patchy on this side. Yeah, but I don't really see that patchiness anymore. But it's still very, very patchy on my forehead right here, as you can see. Like the concealer is still just sitting right there. It's just weird. And because I've got more shine on my nose now, I can see underneath the shine that the foundation looks to kind of want to separate a little bit. It's kind of moving away from my nose area right here. I don't know if you can see that. Ignore my lips. It's been a long day. And yes, you definitely see the oil build up, but there's no separation there, which is cool. Um, when I'm not in front of the camera and I'm just looking at my face in the mirror and whatnot it looks nice and smooth as my sister did say so i do give her that credit it does look smooth even when i take a picture with it it looks good but in terms of the wear of the foundation itself it's okay it's not okay it's not the best wear because you still have those patchiness and the patchiness and whatnot started before we even left before i left earlier on so before i talk too much let me just go ahead and blot so i'm just gonna <laughs> I was just breathing in. Okay. There we go. Look the forehead. It's not much of an all production, which is good. All right, so here we go. And now that I have blooded, ugh, it's just, ugh. The foundation itself has lifted off my nose. As you can see, just a little bit. Not as much, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I thought I did, but I don't like it. Let's see what it looks like after I apply a powder. I'm just grabbing the L'Oreal True Match powder. Let's see if we can patch it. Like if I was out, would I be able to just fix it with a powder? 
Yes, yes, I believe I could. May look my nose, not really my forehead and whatnot. And mind you, I did not set the foundation itself with a powder earlier on. So that could also play a factor at an hour. And the powder that I use for under my eye and the bridge of my nose, I literally use like the tiniest amount. That's it about this foundation. So what would I say about it? Would I recommend this foundation? Not particularly, mainly because of the patchiness and the fact that it doesn't really seem to play well with other product, um, in my opinion anyway. And I don't know. I mean, it's a very natural foundation and whatnot, but you can find a more natural foundation that's a bit more affordable than this Benefit foundation itself. Does that make sense? So what would I rate this? I would give this a two and a half out of five. I just don't like the way it looks. It's just not, ugh. So that's all I've got to say about this foundation. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the application, the wear. Have you tried this foundation? already did it work for you should i try it again and let me know in the question down below and i really appreciate it okay so thanks for watching this foundation test video babes i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it useful and i hope you find it helpful today's summer notification is kitchen spray eye makeup thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you babe and thank you fam for your support i love you guys so so much and as always for everyone to love yourself and i'll see you in my very next video bye but he's just gonna get yeah he went to jail but then he also got released yeah, yeah. So it was planned like they knew it was gonna go to jail nah it's okay i'll watch it later don't tell me yeah yeah today's final notification uh it's kind of it's already the foundation of itself Ugh. now that i've blooded i feel like if i'm looking at myself from the other side oh my god that's so creepy i don't know i feel like i'm being negative but i'm just being honest <laughs> huh the benefit hello happy soft blur foundation <laughs> yeah mm yeah mm -mm. i don't want it take it away i don't want it i can't use this to pay my student loans you can see all my pores go to sleep go to bed learn to cry i love it when i take makeup off i like seeing my face huh napping is so dangerous you can either wake up feeling refreshed and wake up like oh dang it i was gonna film a um skincare routine video i'm gonna take off my wig right now are you really using my money that to oh i'm still recording mm, it's so cold it's like just put it on your face <laughs> look at that you know what i don't know why i'm taking it off right here because i usually take it off as i'm washing my face i just take the water up there did you even see what i used as my backdrop yeah i saw it <laughs> like seriously yeah i'm still making